How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It is time for another Torben Tuesday. I know it's Wednesday, but this week's Torben Tuesday came a little bit later than usual and I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to give it, give it, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to give it some time. Very quickly, if you don't know what Torben Tuesday is, basically every month Foot 2004 gets an update. We know that. However, one week before every update, Playground Games, the developers, give us an image full of clues as to what's going to be in the update. So basically, in these videos, what we do, we have a look at the image and we try to crack the clues. We take a guess at the new cars and the new features and we see if we can figure out what's in the update before it's even out. So in today's video, we have clues towards next week's update, which is update 22. Very quickly before we get into it, I would like to say, if this video does help you out, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've started to say this every now and then recently because it does genuinely help me out. And also to anyone who is subscribed, you may have noticed I've not been uploading as much lately. That's because I've been live streaming on YouTube instead. I've been live streaming every week, all of the new cars, playing with you guys on YouTube. So make sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my live streams on YouTube. We're doing one tomorrow, in fact, on Thursday for the new Ferrari Formula Drift. So keep an eye out for that live stream on Thursday. Anyway, 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 usually a Torben Tuesday clue image would look like this. Very it looks like an image that will have a lot of clues in it. However, because the developers are working from home, we instead have an image like this. Instead of an image with clues, it basically says that we've got some notes. And if we scroll down, we have some notes. We have six, six sentences. Each of them is one clue. So we have six clues for this week. Presumably, maybe six cars or maybe five cars and one feature. But we're going to be going over all of the clues now. So to put it short, each one of those lines is one clue, and each clue is obviously to do with a car, so we're going to try to crack them now. I'm going to start at the top with I delivered my team's first manufacturer title. So this clue is obviously hinting towards a car that won its team's first title, and there's a few cars that people have been guessing for this. We have the Toyota Celica. ST185, which won the WRC manufacturer title in 1993, it adds up, and it's a Toyota, and also the Citroen DS23. This won the Monte Carlo Rally in 1959. Now, what I do for these is I make my own guesses, I research them myself, and I also check what everyone else has been guessing as well. And I think the Citroen DS23 is one of the most likely for this first clue. Now, as you all know as well, there is actually a leaked car list that came out quite a few months ago now, and that's actually turned out to be pretty accurate so far. And the good thing about that is the Citroen DS23 is actually on that leaked car list. So, is the first clue towards the Citroen? We'll have to wait and see. On to the next clue. The next clue is an icon across desert, forest, and mountain, obviously hinting towards a car that's you know, used in all the terrain. It's known for being a desert car, a forest racing car, and a mountain, you know what I mean. And I've seen quite a lot of people guess two cars, but quite often we've got Subaru Crosstrek and the DAF Dakar. I've never even heard of that car. I had to Google that myself. But after a bit of research, both of these cars are known. I mean, if you go to Google Images, you can see these cars in the desert, in the mountains, you know, off-road. They're very well known for it. And again, the interesting thing about the the Subaru Crosstrek specifically is the Subaru is also on the leaked car list. So for the second clue, the Subaru Crosstrek may very well be the one it's hinting towards. It's known for all those things. It's on the leaked car list. We'll have to wait and see. The third clue is we're a rare breed, 500 strong. Now this is an interesting one. This could honestly be several things. Now, if you read it, we're a rare breed, 500 strong. This is quite clearly hinting towards something that's only had 500 made. Now the cars that people have been guessing for this are the following. We have the Saab 93 Turbo X. We have the Ford Racing Puma. We have the 675 LT Spider, obviously McLaren, and also the 675 LT Coupe. Now all four of these cars only had 500 made. Some of them meant to have a thousand made, but all of these only have a 500 made. And the interesting thing is the Ford Racing Puma and the Saab Turbo are both on the leaked car list. So both of them are on the leaked car list, 
Both of them only had 500 made. I believe the Saab had 500 in England or in the UK, so it's maybe a bit different. And the 675 LT Spider and Coupe only had 500 each. So this third clue could be any of those. It's obviously a car that only had 500 made. The two of them are on the leaked car list, so we'll have to wait and see for that one. The fourth clue reads the following, cheap, stripped out and fun, but only in white. Now, I've seen multiple guesses for this one. We have the Mazda MX-5 Cup. Seems like quite a lot of them are white. We have the Subaru WRX 2020 in white. And another one is the Peugeot 205 Rally. Now, out of all of these cars, again, the, Tur the Peugeot 205 Rally is on the leaked car list and it would make sense the Peugeot 205 is sort of a cheap car you could say it's stripped out and it's fun and it seems to be in white and along with that it is on the leaked car list now the Mazda MX-5 is also possible but I think the Peugeot kind of takes it because it's on the leaked car list so we'll have to wait and see for that one the fifth clue reads the following as bright as a neutron star now the fifth clue is as bright as a neutron star now I've seen two different cars guess for this one of which is the Hennessy Velociraptor which I believe people are guessing because it's got massive lights on it and they're very bright as bright as a neutron star sort of makes sense I guess and the other one is the Nissan Pulsar GTI R now a neutron star is, is something in space to put it very short and the Nissan Pulsar if you take the word pulsar, a pulsar is actually a magnetized neutron star. And the interesting thing about both of these, both the Hennessy Velociraptor and the Nissan Pulsar are both on the leaked car list. So could they be hinting towards the lights of the Velociraptor or could they be hinting towards the word pulsar in Nissan Pulsar? Because you know, neutron star and a pulsar star are very similar. And the last clue is horsepower of heavenly stock. Now I've seen three different cars guessed for this. We have the Shelby 1000. Not really sure why people were guessing that one if I'm honest. I couldn't quite figure it out. Um, the 2010 Cobalt SS and the Toyota Celica. Now people are guessing the 2010 Cobalt SS because Cobalt is a type of material found in meteorites, I believe. And meteorites are sort of, you know, from space, from heaven, people would say. So it would kind of match the clue horsepower of heavenly stock and then the Toyota Celica now people are guessing the Toyota Celica because the word Celica is comes comes from the word Colica I believe which is Latin for heavenly which would highly make sense now the interesting thing about these is the Shelby 1000 and the 2010 Cobalt are again on the leaked car list now what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back over all the clues and tell you specifically which car I think is going to be in the game now it's likely that not all of these clues are hinting towards a car but for this sake we're just going to presume that they are so the first clue the first manufacturer title I personally think this is hinting towards the Citroen DS23 it's on the leaked car list it won the Monte Carlo rally I think the Citroen DS23 may be coming next week the second clue, the icon across Desert Fossils to Mountain, I think we're getting a Subaru Crosstrek. It makes sense, it's on the leaked car list, it suits the clue very well. The third clue, we're a rare breed, 500 strong. Honestly, this could be several. It could be the Ford Racing Puma, it could be the Saab 93 Turbo. Personally, I think it's probably the Ford Racing Puma. Could be wrong though, could be any of them, could be this McLaren 7, 675LT Spider. We'll have to wait and see. I personally think it's the Ford Racing Puma. The fourth clue, cheap, stripped out and fun, but only in white. There were several guesses for this, but I think it's going to be the Peugeot 205 Rally. It's on the leaked car list, comes in white, it's stripped out, it suits it. We'll have to wait and see for that. The fifth clue, we had the Hennessy Velociraptor and the Nissan Pulsar. I personally think it's going to be the Nissan Pulsar. It matches the clue a little bit better than the Hennessy Velociraptor. And again, it's on the leaked car list. So I think we may be getting that next week. And the final clue, horsepower of heavenly stock. Now I'm going to guess the Toyota Celica for this because it's very specific. The word heavenly is Latin for colica and, well, the other way around, sorry. And it came from Celica. It matches it perfectly. And we're probably getting a Toyota of some sort this update. So it's the only clue left. 
See if you can figure out the clues and see if I'm wrong or just see if you agree with me or disagree with me. I'm intrigued to know. However, that is this month's Torben Tuesday. Now, as I said very quickly, there's a chance that not all of these clues are all to do with cars. One or two of them might be to do with a feature. It's quite hard to guess features, so we're not going to go there. We're just going to presume that they're all cars and then see if any of them weren't, if that makes sense. So anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all later. Bye.